Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I have for you a bit of a different fashion video and as you can see we're in a bit of a different setup as well. And this video is going to be about clothes that you already own and how you can use those to be on trend and create five new outfits completely on trend for this autumn winter season. This video was actually inspired by one that Victoria from In The Fro did. Um, I will link her video down below. She has a channel with amazing fashion content and basically her video was about five outfits that you already own. But I decided to give this a bit of a spin and actually use these five outfits to show you how you can use outfits from different seasons, from different years, and use them to channel the stuff that is really on trend for this autumn winter season. So I'm gonna show you how to style up five outfits using kind of six or seven trends from this year, how to style them up, how to combine stuff to actually give it a bit of an update and transform it into a whole different look. I'm gonna be taking stuff that's from summer and using it for winter and I'm gonna show you how to transform those pieces, but also stuff from kind of two or three years ago and how little tweaks can make them really on trend. So you don't have to kind of go and splurge on a whole lot of new clothes to be really on trend. And I think this is actually something really good and something that I do all the time, kind of updating my outfits, adding a few little accessories here and there and completely changing the look without breaking the bank. So I hope you enjoyed this video and without further ado, let's get straight into it because there's a lot to get through. But before that, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you already haven't. I upload twice a week and I would love to have you back on the channel. So for this video, basically what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you five trends and I'm gonna show you how to adapt clothes that you probably already have in your wardrobe or if you don't have them, you can very easily get them because they're mostly kind of basics. But probably if it's not from this season, from a few seasons ago, you probably have something similar if it's not identical. I am gonna link options below as well of dupes of this kind of stuff. Obviously all my clothes are not new, well most of them aren't. If there is anything new, I will link that below. But for the stuff that isn't new, I will be linking sort of stuff that's very similar um, and that could probably do the same job than the one that I'm showing you here on the video. So for the five trends we're gonna go, I'm gonna show you here on the rack what we have um, and then I will talk through each outfit individually. So the first trend we are going to channel is the oversized blazer trend and I have here this outfit, which is gonna be based on this gilet, which is from Zara, and this was from the summer season. And we're, I'm gonna be showing you how to transition this into full winter, make it winter appropriate, make it a little bit more cozy, and pair it with other kind of winter clothing that you have. And I'm also gonna use it as more of a blazer, and I'm gonna channel that kind of oversized blazer vibe into this oversized sort of long line gilet that I got from Zara. For trend number two, I'm gonna be using this blazer, which is from about five years ago from Zara, and I'm gonna be pairing it with these trousers, and this is gonna be channeling the tailoring vibe that we have going on for this year, which is so on trend, and obviously the pieces are gray, which is a super hot color for this season. For the next trend, I'm gonna be focusing on the shirt dress, and I'm gonna be taking this oversized shirt that I have from Max Mara. This is from last summer, and again, and it's a summer piece that I'm gonna be showing you how to make it winter appropriate. Um, it's an oversized shirt, something super easy to find. And if you don't have an oversized shirt, you can use a men's shirt, so steal one from your husband. It can be obviously white or it can be any other color. I really like white because I find a crisp white shirt so flattering. But obviously you can go with any color you like. And like I said, if you don't have an oversized shirt, you can definitely use a men's shirt and it'll probably do the same job. For the next trend, I'm gonna be doing oversized shoulders. And I'm gonna be taking this really simple top, which is from Zara. This is from three or four years ago. And it's a very simple top. It has this satin finish to the neckline, which is really nice. And it gives it a more kind of tuxedo feel, which is great for evening, because tuxedos are so in this year. But obviously you can take any top, which has long sleeves and has this kind of blousy finish to it. And we're gonna really amp this up and make it really structured and something really kind of designer looking, even though it's actually just a really simple top, which you can probably find any Anywhere, and which you probably have lots of in the cupboard already. And finally, for my last trend, I'm gonna be doing, again, suiting, something really work appropriate. And we're gonna be taking this as our base for the outfit because I'm gonna be channeling the red trend. Red is such a hot color this year. It's the color of the year, I would say. And I'm gonna be taking this red dress and converting it into something completely different, super appropriate for the office or for any kind of formal events and very, very body flattering. So without further ado, I wanna get straight into this and show you all the outfits on and talk you through how I transformed these outfits into something really on trend and perhaps from a different season into winter autumn.
So for look number one, I am incorporating the long line blazer trend. That's kind of the main trend I focused on. And actually I've used not only stuff which is not from this season, but stuff from which is from a completely um, different season in terms of kind of weather. And it is this gilet that I got from Zara. I got this over the summer and it's a long line oversized gilet, but obviously it's quite a summery piece. In order to make it more kind of winter friendly and make it a little bit warmer, as well. I decided to pair it with this polo neck. It's a roll neck jumper from Gucci. Um, it's very warm, it's pretty thin, which pairs quite nicely with this because obviously this is quite a thin fabric, even though it is fully lined from the inside, it is quite a thin fabric. So this um, polo neck needed to be thin because otherwise I think with a chunky piece it would just look kind of too contrasting. You can definitely mix textures but you need to be careful about how you mix them as well. For this polo neck, it is um, cashmere so it is really, really warm though. Um, and it is quite oversized so I quite like it because it doesn't look kind of too fitted. The whole vest with a turtleneck underneath is, gives it a very 70s vibe which is a very kind of on trend theme for this year as well. It doesn't only make it warmer but also because it's dark it makes it look a lot more kind of a fall outfit because obviously this is so light. But to not make everything so jarring, I decided to pair it on the bottom with these trousers which are in grey, again a colour that is so on trend this year. These ones are from Carolina Herrera and I actually have these from a couple of years ago and the jumper as well is also from a couple of years ago. I got it in the summer at a Gucci outlet store in Switzerland but actually it's from two seasons ago. So again another old piece that I've restyled. These trousers are very on trend tailored trousers, they're kind of a straight fit, they have pockets which I think make them quite modern and give them a more kind of casual vibe even though they're still kind of a tailored piece. They do have the folded hemline which again I think makes it a little bit more young and a little bit more kind of chilled out. Um, and they are in the woolen cashmere finish which makes them very wintry but because they're quite light it makes the outfit not look so jarring with the kind of white vest otherwise it would look like there was too much of a contrast. To finish off the look and add another black element I decided to pair it with these Aquazura pumps which I have from last year. These ones are in suede and these ones are great because they give the outfit a more modern look. I think this could end up looking a little bit mumsy because everything is kind of very long lines and very tailored but to give it a more modern look I I think these pumps which are a little bit different to kind of classic stilettos give it a more sort of modern vibe and make it a little bit more edgy and this is a great look if you're wearing it kind of to a formal event or you're wearing this to the office but if you want to make it more casual you could definitely pair it with a pair of sneakers and it would be perfect for an off-duty look so as you can see you can definitely use pieces from different seasons and you can also use pieces from different years and restyle them up to incorporate trends from this year this one actually incorporates sort of three trends. The main trend is obviously the long line blazer which is so in and obviously this looks double breasted as well which again very on trend and like I said if you don't have a long line blazer it's great to use a vest or something similar um, and incorporate the trend that way. For outfit number two we are channeling the tailoring trend which is so huge this season. And these pieces are actually really old, so this shows you that you can definitely restyle stuff that you've got in your wardrobe. Um, I decided to make this a more modern type of tailoring by channeling my inner Victoria Beckham and pairing this with a pair of trainers. So I'm gonna run you through the outfit and tell you what I have. I have this blazer, which is from Zara, and this one is actually, I believe, four years old but it already has the oversized shoulders which are very much on trend, very Balmanesque. And I find these type of shoulders are really, really nice for people like me who kind of don't have a very defined sort of waist and hips because it sort of balances you out here. I don't really have very broad shoulders. They're kind of very, very narrow and sort of straight up and down. And this sort of gives me a little bit more shape, balances them out, gives me a little bit of volume up here and makes my waist look a little bit smaller. And obviously it's gray, which again, like I said, Said previously is so on trend this year and then I've paired it with these trousers which are actually from um, Pedro del Hierro it's a Spanish brand and they have these um, pleats here and that again is very much on trend I love the pockets it gives it a kind of very young 
modern vibe. And to make this outfit a little bit more casual, I've paired it with this t-shirt from YSL, which is from this season. And as you know, I've worn it loads. And I think the fact that it has this sort of text and a sort of grayish, it's kind of a charcoal gray, makes it tie really nicely in with this outfit and it still keeps it quite sober. So if you wanted to add a pair of stilettos and make this more of a work outfit, you definitely could do that because the t-shirt is still quite plain and simple. I've paired it, like I said, with these trainers and I think that gives it a very modern young vibe. These ones are from Gucci and these ones are new like the t-shirt, but the main part of the outfit is this um, blazer and the trousers, which obviously are something I've restyled from before. This this jacket is quite long lined as well and I think that looks quite nice with trousers and these jackets especially with trouser suits were really in even like three four years ago so I'm sure you have something in your wardrobe like this these trousers are not from the same place as the blazer but it still looks like a suit because they're pretty much the same shade of grey but if you cannot find the exact same shade it's better to use a contrasting color because that makes the outfit nicer than if you're trying to pair something which is not identical but it's still not too different. So if I wanted to pair this maybe with a white pair of trousers or with something black, if this was a lighter gray, um, that would look amazing as well, even navy blue. So go through the contrasting colors if you cannot get the same shade. But like this shows you, if you look carefully, you can find in different brands stuff that looks like a suit, even though it's not a suit. And sometimes you can get away with buying it a little bit cheaper this way because you can get something from the high street, something a bit more high end. And yeah, I think this outfit is really cool. Like I said, you could pair it with stilettos to make it more formal or with trainers it's a great off-duty but still tailored look. For outfit number three we're channeling the shirt dress. This has been a huge trend over the summer and also a trend over winter. Um, and again, I'm taking a piece, which is a summer piece, and transitioning it into the autumn winter wardrobe. So we're gonna start off with this shirt, which is from Max Mara. And I actually got this, not this summer, but the previous summer. And it's an oversized shirt, and it's a pretty kind of boxy fit shirt, completely white, with wide sleeves, but obviously it's a summer shirt. To make it more wintry and actually wear it as a shirt dress, I've paired it with these black shorts that you can see underneath from Zara. But I'm trying to hide these. These are just so in case you can see it here from the side because the shirt has got slits so I don't want my legs to obviously show all the way up. And it keeps me a little bit warmer as well. But you can wear any kind of shorts that you have lying around. These are sort of from a tailored sort of crepey material that you would use for a suit. So they go quite nicely because they're not very kind of summery. I think cotton shorts might look a bit strange. And then to make this super kind of snuggly and suitable for autumn winter, I've paired it with this cape. And this one is from French Connection. And I actually got this two winter ago. It's a really chunky knit. It's super soft and it's really, really warm and capes have been on trend kind of for fall winter for the last sort of three, four years. So you probably have one of these lying in your wardrobe, but if you don't have a cape, you can obviously pair it with a chunky knit, either a long kind of jacket or a thick jumper, just something that's a little bit oversized. I wouldn't go for anything that's too fitted because the whole point of like shirt dresses this year is that they're very oversized. So with a chunky oversized knit, you would have space to kind of fit the shirt underneath. I think this combination looks really cool, very sort of edgy with the boots. These boots are from last winter and they are just below the knee I feel like the over the knee trend is sort of going away and these below the knee boots are sort of coming back these ones are from Ferragamo they're super comfortable they're like a complete winter staple for me they've got quite a thick sole so they're quite warm and you can walk around them loads they're very flat and I think this gives the outfit a very kind of casual young sort of a bit of a schoolgirl vibe but I think it looks really nice and because the dress is quite short I think it looks very nice with um, flat boots because it sort of balances the outfit out it makes it more kind of day wear, a bit more casual, and yeah, I really, really like it. It's a very, very comfortable outfit to go run errands in, and if you feel a bit cold on your legs, you could obviously wear tights, but I actually really like how it looks like that, and because I'm in the comfort of my own home right now, um, obviously I can wear it like this, but if I was gonna be running around the whole day, I'd probably put some tights underneath just to not freeze. But yeah, I think it's a super versatile outfit, something that you probably have in your wardrobe, an oversized shirt and a chunky knit, and you can turn it into a super trendy shirt dress. 
dress. And if you don't have an oversized shirt, you can steal one from your husband's wardrobe and it'll work just as well. Because the outfit is quite dark, and this is like a very dark chunky knit and the boots are black as well, I think showing the shirt peeking around the top and around the bottom just gives it a nice kind of touch of brightness. And I think it's also really nice because it shows kind of that it's a layered outfit, you can show off your shirt dress, um, and layering just makes it a little bit more interesting and I think the contrast of textures also makes it really nice. For outfit number four, I've got more of an evening outfit for you guys. Um, and this is a very kind of basic monochrome outfit, but I've made it more on trend by channeling the oversized kind of shoulder, very kind of big um, shoulder pad trend. And I've done that by taking this top from Zara, which was a normal kind of V sort of blousy sort of top. It's like a blouse material. And I've had this for I think two or three years now. It's one of the basic tops from Zara. You can find these tops sort of everywhere if you don't have it in your wardrobe already. And what I've done to update it is just added these shoulder pads. And these are ones that you can attach with a little bit of Velcro and they're very small shoulder pads. They were super on trend in the 80s and they sort of ran out of fashion but I think they are so so handy and they've just made this blouse into something a lot more kind of structured it's a very got a very sort of Balmanesque feel to it and it just sort of looks a lot more like kind of designer more expensive sort of very structured top something that was very special as opposed to just a normal top and I think that's all been added by the shoulder pads like I told you shoulder pads really suit people who have a kind of very straight up and down body it makes your waist look smaller because it brings your shoulders out and yeah they can be flattering on a lot of different body types I've paired these with these trousers from Claudie Piello and they are sort of a tuxedo inspired trousers they've got these pleats here which are very on trend this year and they've got this satin bow and satin sort of trim around the top which makes it kind of very tuxedo-ish and tuxedo because tailoring is so on trend is obviously on trend as well for evening wear a lot but if you don't have these any sort of um, I would say ideally either kind of palazzo trousers or these kind of pencil fit trousers would be fine in a black or a navy blue if you're wearing it for evening I think black would look really really nice and there's so many tuxedo trouser options online I will be linking some options below um, obviously these pieces are no longer available because they're not new but I will be linking sort of um, dupes below so you guys can go and have a look I featured one very similar tuxedo style trouser from Zara in my winter wishlist collection I will link that on the screen now if you haven't watched it but basically any black trouser will do and these ones have got pockets again which I really love and I decided to keep it kind of quite simple with the jewelry I've just added this sort of dainty necklace because if you add a very chunky necklace you can end up looking that like you've just come out from the 80s and you were in Dallas because obviously these shoulder pads are really in fashion then um, and if you just add too much kind of gold chunky jewelry I think it can make you look a little bit too 80s so I decided to keep the jewelry really minimal I've paired it with these shoes from Aquazura these are also from their last year collection and they are sort of just beige stilettos but any sort of beige stilettos or even black could work really well and I think it's a great outfit for like a formal dinner or a formal event something very simple but at the same time on trend with these special shoulders for the final outfit I have something that would work great for a work event or for a formal work sort of meeting or something like that. It's a very sort of grown up outfit but I think the pop of colour makes it a little bit more fun. The main trends we're channeling in this one is the red which obviously is the colour of this winter kind of for winter season and belting. So I have a dress actually even though it looks like a pencil skirt and this is a great tip um, for kind of transitioning your dresses into skirts and sort of making them work as both. If you pair your dress with a top or a blazer that's completely covered from the top so something with a crew neck you can't see the top of the dress and it automatically looks like a skirt and it looks like a completely different item of clothing this dress is from Diane Von Futzberg like I said and I've had it for about three years now and it's just sort of a classic bodycon dress it's a bit stretchy but it's not too too tight it has a sort of thick cotton material um, so it's not too formal but at the same time because it's quite fitted sort of a nice shift dress it looks quite formal as well 
So it's nice for day wear. I wouldn't wear it for evening so much, but for day wear it works great. And what I've done is I've paired this with this blazer, which is from Max & Co. And this is again also from, I think, three years ago, winter. And it's a classic sort of black blazer, but with a crew neck instead of a normal sort of lapel. So I'm sure you can find a top or a jumper even if you don't have a blazer like this. And then a sort of um, dress or pencil skirt, ideally in red, that could work great. And to make this into sort of a more balanced outfit, because I am very small around my hips, peplum tops really look very good on me. And to make this into a peplum top, I've added this belt and belting is huge this season. This one is from Ferragamo. Again, it's from last year and it's a great belt because it's actually um, got a different color on the other side so you can use it both ways. I've put it on with the black, which sort of blends in and it makes this look like a peplum top, which balances me out a little bit more on the hips and it makes my waist look a little bit smaller. To finish it off, I've paired it with some black stilettos. These ones are from Christian Louboutin, and again, they're like three or four years old. But obviously, you can pair this with any sort of stiletto, even with like a booty, if you want to give it a more kind of young, modern vibe. Obviously, you can let your hair down if you want to make it more casual. I've put it with my hair up just to make it kind of really formal. And I have sort of rolled my sleeves up a little bit. And this is great if you want to make the outfit a little bit less formal. With the sleeves down, I feel like like it definitely looks like I'm going to the office. But this sort of gives it a little bit more of a casual vibe, a little bit more chic. So that's a great way to kind of make your blazers look a little bit more fun. I think this outfit is super versatile again. Um, and like I said, this is a great tip that I love of transforming dresses into skirts so that they look like a completely different piece of clothing. Well, that was everything from me, guys. I hope you enjoyed these five outfits that I've shown you. Like I said at the beginning, you don't need to break the bank to be on trend. Just grab a few pieces from your wardrobe. All you need is a little bit of inspiration I hope this video gave you that. Um, and you can be super on trend just updating your old pieces with a few accessories. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.